Hi guys, this is Robbie from Astra and today I'll be showing you how to run two instances of Steam uh, on Astra workplaces. Here I have already opened Steam on the second workplace and if I run Steam here on the first workplace, what happens is that the first uh, instance of Steam close, closes and only the second instance will be running. And uh, this is a protection mechanism for Steam which uh, uh, prevents uh, running more than one instance of Steam. However, we can bypass this uh, behavior uh, by closing one of the handles or events that the Steam uh, program has using a program called Process Explorer. Uh, and today I'll be demonstrating that. Uh, so I'm running Steam again on the second WordPress now. And I'll do the Process Explorer steps on the first WordPress. Now I have already downloaded uh, Process Explorer on my computer and to run it uh, right click on the Process EX, PROC EXP64 and then right click and run as administrator afterwards. Uh, click on filter by name and then type Steam. It will filter the list with Steam name, uh, programs with Steam name. Right click on the Steam, sorry, click on the Steam.exe and then look for event called base named valve steam ipc underscore class. Now, we need to close this handle and afterwards we will be able to run a second instance of Steam uh, on the WordPress. So I will close the handle. After closing the handle, we can close the Process Explorer program and I can run Steam now. If you see here, two Steam instances are running on first and, sec first and second WordPresses respectively. Let me log in on the second WordPress as well as on first WordPress. Currently, I'm running uh, RTX 3060 on my system, so this is able to handle uh, 1080p ultra graphics for Dota 2 uh, as well as uh, CS code. So I'll be demonstrating those two games now. Let's go to library and launch the first instance of Dota 2. Once uh, Steam has successfully run on both of the workplaces. Uh, most of the games in the Steam library is able to be run without uh, any additional steps. Uh, some games re will require additional steps as they may use anti-cheat programs. So let me run Dota 2 on second work for first workplace as well. Running. Keep in mind, uh, both of the workplaces are uh, sorry, both of the Steam instance are currently reading from the same disk or same same. SSD. Uh, in my case, I'm using NVMe SSD from Intel uh, 660p, and we recommend using NVMe or at least S uh, SATA SSD so that you are able to run, uh, so you are able to load files faster. So currently, uh, both of the games are, both of the instances of Dota 2 are running here. Let me invite uh, this account on Steam so that we can play on the same. Before we start the game, uh, let me show you the settings for the uh, graphics. And in this uh, workplace, uh, I have set everything to high, um, except the saddle. For saddle, uh, and I have limited the FPS to 120. If you set uh, FPS limit above 120 on both of the workplaces. You may encounter cases when one of the game will stop running. So to prevent that from happening, it's best if you uh, check VSync here to limit the FPS of the monitor based on the refresh rate of the monitor. Um, in this in this monitor's case, it's uh, 60 hertz, and in this monitor's case, it's uh, currently at. Um, 75 hours so it will be limited to 75 and it, it will get limited to 60 but it will be perfectly playable uh, let's uh, try with the current settings and go with 120 fps on both of the uh, workplaces uh, let's play let's play with bot for now so that I don't get any um, how should I say pants if I play a rank match and leave the game uh, let's do random on both of them Quick. So, 
uh, let's wait a bit of moment. If you see at the top of the screen here, the FPS is currently showing as 120. Similarly, on the first workplace also, the FPS is showing 120. So, uh, even if we are limited, uh, it's perfectly playable. And if you want smooth gameplay, then I encourage you to uh, enable VSync on any of the games so that it runs smoothly without taxing the graphics card. started on both of the workplaces. So, it's perfectly playable. If you see uh, at the top, I'm showing the ping and the FPS. Uh, the ping is around 40 to 42 and FPS is uh, stable 190, 120 on both of the workplaces. If you see here, I'm running the game, uh, sorry, I'm running my character on this one, no issues, okay, let's go on the same place, so, a uh, few things to note here, uh, sometimes if you are using AMD graphics card or a, a graphic card that has less uh, VRAM, then you may encounter instances where the game, uh, one of the monitor will flicker black screen when you are when you run a full screen game currently the game is running cur sorry the game is running as exclusive full screen uh, meaning that any game sorry meaning this game is running in full screen exclusive full screen and it will not allow you to go outside of the screen you can also play in windowed mode or uh, full screen windowed mode uh, that will also prevent you prevent the game from uh, making the screen flicker when you launch a full screen game. So. Okay. Perfectly playable and FPS is stable at 120. If you have uh, lower end graphics, okay. uh, so if you have lower end graphics then I recommend Toning down the graphics settings to medium or even low, medium, and using the basic settings to fastest or uh, somewhere around fastest and best looking, so that uh, you will get a better FPS uh, while having uh, while getting better FPS. Okay, so. Now, even when there are a lot of uh, lot of model on the screen, uh, the FPS is stable uh, above 100 FPS here, as you can see. And keep in mind, currently the uh, graphic setting is at high. So uh, this was Dota 2, and while running the game, I have not noticed any delays or um, lagging when launching the uh, two instances of the games. Now let's try another game and see how it goes. So let me close the game here. Except. Uh, exit. Okay. So let's try another game uh, which is a fan which is a favorite of mine as a CSGO. I'm running it here as well. Let's wait for it to launch properly. Uh, you can ignore this. Uh, this is because I have disabled uh, Xbox overlay, as uh, an Xbox game bar from my system so that it doesn't cause any lags. If you encounter lags while playing games, even in a single uh, workplace, then be sure to disable Xbox DVR, game DVR from the system. Um, if you see both of the instances of uh, CS2 have run, so that they can be the same okay. Now both of these are on the same log. Let's start a game with bot. Go. Since this is the host, uh, it will load the files first. It's going to start the local game server and load the files and then afterwards uh, this will load the game and files. Okay. So now it's connecting to the server. That's 
been created on the first, second WordPress. Let me choose terminist. Okay. So if you see at the top of the screen, uh, the FPS is currently above 140. Here, let me choose terrorist. Okay, so um, in both of the workplaces, currently the FPS is above 100, and the, in the second workplace, uh, it's around uh, 200 plus, and here it's around 190 plus. So, perfectly playable, no lags with keyboard or mouse or any stuttering going on on both of the workplaces. If you see here, both of them are working fine. working perfectly fine. Uh, if you want a better FPS then you can decrease the graphics settings from video and currently everything is set to auto and high and if you want uh, uh, sorry if you want a good uh, FPS uh, then you can try enabling the VSync on the game so that it uh, follows the refresh rate of the monitor and sets a stable frame FPS. So it's running fine. Okay. As you can see here both of them are running perfectly fine, no issues. I don't see any lag uh, when running the games or when loading. As you can see both of the games are running perfectly fine. Uh, let me close and thank you for watching the video.